Welcome back everybody to the Johnny Guitar Channel. Today we are playing The Outer Worlds. And in the last Feels episode, like into trouble. Nioka, Ellie, and Johnny Charisma left Stellar Bay and they traveled out here to Amber Heights where we met the Iconoclast, the people who have been disrupting the board's uh, broadcasts. Now we know these um, radio transmissions have been sent out by a radio tower by Devil's Horns. And that will be our ultimate goal. But today we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking and turn in some quests. So the first one is, I want to uh, raise my reputation with the Iconoclast here at Amber Heights. Because at some point I am going to be at odds with them. And I feel like if I can talk them out of fighting, it might be more fortuitous. Now, I just barely came through this area, so I'm not sure how quickly things respawn in this world. Guess we'll find out. And in the last episode, we actually checked out our shrink ray gun, and it was a decent gun. Kind of an interesting gun. I think there's a recharge on my science guns. I didn't think about that in the last episode, but... Yeah, I think my science guns uh, have to recharge, and that is okay. And their effects seem to be temporary. It's cool, these like houses built into the side of the hill here. Can I just go this way? What is this? What is this thing? Okay, do you guys got my back? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of following this path. And we're stalking. And we're stalking. I don't think I've ever been here. This Is this like a settlement? What's going on here? Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Okay, well, um, I need to get inside, buddy. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm supposed to meet someone here. That's what. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Oh, why are you why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. Oh shit, I am not allowed to let uh Carlotta die. Um I need to get inside. And I'm just going to let you walk on in? Why is that now? Hmm. Okay, give me just a moment. Okay, anyways, um, you're here for Carlotta. I get it. I'll offer, you get paid, we all go home with a win. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Niles. Okay, you are a sublight thug. What's sublight? Okay, well, either way... You know, I probably would've killed all of you. Just, just so you guys know. You... Niles just saved your life. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Oh, I should have put on my lying hat. Okay, shit. Um, relax. The, uh, sublight squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Mm -hmm. Who are you, anyway? Okay, it's me. Johnny Charisma. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Okay, that's fair enough. I don't want to get you in trouble. Just gonna look around real quick.
All right. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and whatsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Okay, I think I need extra supplies, though. Um, get high-capacity cartridges or extra supplies. Um, why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Okay, and then, um... Where will they get their supplies now, huh, if you're quitting? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Okay, cool. Um, shoot. So Graham wants the um, data cartridges so they can watch TV shows. Zora wanted food and medicine uh i think we're gonna go with the tv shows because um johnny charisma yeah i've got a few i'll send them along <laughs> give them all my regards and good luck out there all right all right don't go getting eaten try not to okay real quick we've got a lot of weapons i think we're just going to Break a couple of them down. Yeah, just break that down. Ordinance control. What do I currently have? 38, 26, but more hack. Ah, whatever. Let's get rid of it. Let's put that back. You know what? I only ever want to wear my hat because I love it. I love my Spacer's Choice Moonman helmet. Okay. Let's repair everything equipped. Why would you look at that? What is happening in this little room? Oh, if only I had higher hack. Shoot. Okay, let's look at this though, because I might have, okay, first off character, what's my hack at? Um... Okay, my hack's at 50. Sometimes there will be a, th like caffeine is plus one to mind attributes. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. No, and I just, like, got rid of... Okay. We'll come back when I have higher hack abilities, I guess. We'll come back. Okay, so I need to return to Graham, but I think I actually wipe out any terminals in the buildings. Okay, I think we're going to head back to... Okay, I know, I know, I just keep... 
Okay, we're going to head back down and go to this building here. So I think sublight is... Did you just... Did you guys just go into that sewer? I think sublight is an actual... City somewhere around here. There's going to be a city named sublight. They totally just went into this like sewer cap. Awesome. Okay, so I guess eventually we'll make it to sublight. I imagine for now, no big deal. Let's get that bolt caster for Sunjar, who is the um, like CEO of the corporation within Stellar Bay. There's a lot going on. We got our we got our fingers in a lot of pies around Halcyon, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to go a little off-road, you guys, just because I don't want to spend my entire life only ever taking the roads. Oh, is that a church? This is one of the um, architect churches where they believe there's a plan for everybody. Purpleberry wine. What are you? Okay, I got a book for some reason. just pick up a nice hat okay we we may we may we may be rethinking our current hat let's go ahead and check out oh my god okay so our current moon man helmet even though it looks amazing it is closing and it only gives me lie plus five. The nice hat, on the other hand, gives me leadership plus five, persuasion plus seven, and it has higher armor than the. Okay, never mind. We're now a hat guy. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier. Plus, um, just having no Nioka in our party will um, raise our lie skill. So this is fine. We're actually better off. Are you guys ready for this? things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you or both are these the ruins behind are the neoka are these what's known as the ruins okay i just i see a strange looking structure up here, I just want to know what it is. We're doing this. Don't mess with us.
Is this like the old graveyard? Is that what I'm looking at? Olympus Lover's Point. Where are we? Oh, that must be Devil, Devil's Horn Peak up there. Okay. Awesome. Okay, you know what? I think I like the planet of Monarch. There's a lot going on here. A lot of quests we're going to get through. We're actually going to be leveling up a ton. I wonder what the level cap is here in the Outer Worlds. I wonder. It looks like the Raptodon attack was pretty significant here. Oh, shit. It's up. Oof. And that's how it's done, Captain. Okay, you guys are winners. Shot his butt off, you guys. I just... I think we're doing really good and making a lot of progress today. So are these the ruins? I don't I don't get where we're at. Here we go. What am I doing in here? Does anybody remember what I'm doing in this building specifically? Slams, Adreno. I mean, this is good stuff. A lot of... Okay. Everybody, give me just a moment. What was on my journal? Okay. Wipe out any terminals in the building, get into the arms building. The Bolt 52 is an abandoned building north of Stellar Bay. Am I in said building? Just gonna wipe out the terminals. A lot of money hanging around, okay. Sandra had a bad habit of doing something. All in all, Sandar's work. Oh, okay, so this is... We need to get rid of these. Bryant Graham? Let's go ahead and hack that. So Graham is the leader of the Iconoclast, but apparently he used to work for MSI. Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive especially for a relatively low-level editor has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines however graham has issues with brevity and shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats some of his work has been flagged for subver sub subversive undertones recommend further interesting so obviously Nanja or Senjar Nandi wants to get rid of his bad review. Graham apparently used to frickin' work 
Who's that? Eric, Dora Erickson? I don't really know who she is, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's Graham's assistant, Dora Erickson. Dora has a real knack for brief but compelling presentations supported by catchy slogans. Her delegation skills are also top-notch. She can build a lengthy meeting around any top topic and emerge with plenty of work assigned. Recommend for promotion. Ah, so she is the one who's supposed to be in charge of MSI, not... That other guy. That's hilarious. Okay, let's go ahead and delete them all. Okay, awesome. So apparently... How do I get up here? How do I... Do I, do I get a jump? Okay. What's that sound you're making? Ooh, a music box. That's almost certainly. Oh, hello, hello. I hear boots out there. Wait, can I ask for boots? Um, hello. Who's in there? Okay, interesting. Wasn't Hux or Huxley the person who disappeared from Amber Heights, the runner? Okay, I'll get her out. Um, well, I need to get in that room, so... Take a look around. Are you sure I can't just... Yeah, I bet, I bet if I free her, I'm going to get um, huh? reputation increase. What do I do? This? Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was going to die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh... You're traveling with someone. Never mind. Um. Okay, well, I... You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Okay. Normally when you help someone, you give them something for their trouble. Or... Jeez. Jeez Louise. No, no, no. You... Good luck. Good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Don't die. Try try not to die, okay? No. You exit? Okay, try not to die, lady. Okay, okay, we're getting all sorts of good stuff here. Okay, bolt 52 cartridge. Okay, everybody.
You know what? Let's actually just blast our way through this little town because it looks like there's a, another entrance into Monarch, which I want to check out. So let's keep looting around here just for a moment. Might be something good. Sometimes you'll end up picking up stuff that um, someone else is going to ask you to get, like pick up knockout order bar. I don't know. Maybe that's a quest item. I don't know. It's a bed if I want to. The only, um, there's no survival mode in this game, so the only uh, reason you need a bed is if you want to pass the time. Can I wear the mask? Ooh, it's light armor, but it gives me five determination. Whereas the hat gives me leadership skill and persuade. Hat's probably better for now. Okay, sorry. I have got so much stuff. We probably, once we get to Stellar Bay... Oh! Well, here you go. Here's a workbench. Perfect. Okay. I got a bunch of stuff I need to break down. So we're going to break down. Let's see. Break that down. Break that down. I like this. That's my iron knife. Uh, paper knife. Okay, let's see. Lockpick max, distance 2 point... What does that mean? Lockpick max, distance plus 2.5 millimeter. It's so weird. I'm not going to take it, though. Okay, let's see, is there anything else I can put on here? Nope, just this, huh? Okay, so I already have my Whisper Soft. Anything I can put... Um, decreases wep loss of weapon durability. Okay, sure. My Acid Dripping Sword. What about my pistol? Um, it's already plasma, right? It's already plasma damage. Damage type plasma. Is it already plasma? I can't tell. That's level 14. This is level 10. I think it's time to upgrade my gun. So let's take that and let's... Okay, wait. Actually, let's break down. Damn it. I got a wank. Go into my inventory. Say I no longer wait. Salvager's helper. Ultimate force. Oh my gosh. Punch popper. Okay, just trying to memorize. Break that shit down. Keep that because I like that better for some reason. No, actually, let's get rid of that. Let's put that up there. Let's keep the ultimate force for now. Okay. I now know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I want to... Auto mag pistol. I think this is... I think this is... Okay. That's the machine gun she's using. Can I install a mod onto her machine gun? Yes, I can. Her machine gun has plasma damage. Got it. What about the tremor cleaver? Nothing. My officer's spine. Nothing. Okay, tinker. This is where I, where I can spend bits to... Um... Okay, I was just trying to make... Um her light machine gun more damaged. Okay, ultimatum. Okay. 
Okay, good. Glad I ran through there. Just checking everything out. What does this way go? Sealed. Okay. Oh. Okay, we are truly death artists. What are these? Nothing, I guess. Okay, let's head back into Stellar Bay. We've got like two different quests we have to turn in. Let's go check it out. Okay, so as we know, Monarch is uh, not part of the... a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it. Slept with it. Not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Okay, are you guys just having a conversation? Okay, we, we've got business to attend to. Oh. Okay, so remember, she's the one who should... Oh no, Celia. Okay, no. Never mind. Executive. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Let's um tell Sanjar we did his stuff. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um, yeah, I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Yeah, um, it was already open, but yeah. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Okay, um, your left kidney, huh? Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. All right, um, well, who cares, man? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. Okay. Got it. You know, you're doing great, though. You, you're doing great. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Um, yeah. I, uh, I found the cartridge and deleted the data for you. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. Okay, how exactly is a data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Okay. What comes next? Corporate espionage. I like How that. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? 
Your best delivery yet, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, you did you did great. Celia? Already noted for your review, sir. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Okay, you sly dog. Do you really think so? Don't encourage him. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Awesome. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Oh, yeah, of course. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Okay. Awesome. Infiltrate a secret corporate base. Kidnap the staff. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Okay. Oh, you know what? I did meet Grimm back when we first arrived here to Stellar Bay. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Yeah, it was great. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? That is it for now. Okay, okay. So I guess um, someone on the board is operating here on Monarch illegally, and we're going to ruffle some feathers and maybe get uh, Monarch back on the uh, Halcyon board. Okay, that seems like a fine thing to do. I mean, as long as it doesn't screw with my own reputation. Okay, got to go back to Graham, but I also need... Nope, that's not it. Oh, I still have to... Okay, I still have... Still got a couple more things to do here. A lot of quests here in Stellar Bay. Got it. If I never smell another raft, it'll be too soon. Weren't you a sawbones? Oh, you. you. Smelled worse. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Um, yeah, you two work this out between yourselves. There's nothing to work out. My baby's back home, and that's all there is to say on the matter. No, Mama, I have plenty to say about this, but that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me can have a long talk. Yeah, settle up. Dear kind stranger, this is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Okay, let's see. What was that one? That is Celia. That's back on near Edgewater. That's something else. Okay, let's go check out this warehouse. What is happening here? I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap must. Hey, Velma, I got your cathanoid pills. Oh, you were the one. Lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. 
Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. I see, I see. Take it easy, I'm, uh... Well, Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Okay, um, look, I'm just here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Oh my god, no, Nell. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so it's about money, huh? Damn right it is. Okay, well, um, you still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Okay, um, didn't, didn't Grim already pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Shit, okay, surely we can work something out. He really wants that poster. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. I might, I might. Um. Oh my gosh, 753 Brit bits, that is not bad. Damn right he will. Hopefully, that'll be the last I see of him for a while. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? No. No, that was it, lady. Okay, cool. We've been doing, uh, man, we've been leveling up a lot lately. I forget what the level cap is in this game. I think it's 35, perhaps? Okay, let's, let's give this guy his poster. He's been waiting days for this. I forgot about you, honestly. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Oh yeah, buddy. I got it. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old tossball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Okay. How many bits did you give me? Six hundred and twenty-five bits. Okay. That's not quite what I paid for it, but, um... Okay, I think now we need to... So, so we first need to go back to Graham, and then after Graham, we're going to head over to Fallbrook. I think I have three quests I need to turn in or to start in Fallbrook. For now, we're going to have to return to Graham. Let's start. Okay. Okay. Byzantium, right? Don't rub it in. Oh, don't get all prickly. I just haven't met someone who left the high life on purpose. I'm from there, but I'm not really from there, if you follow. Okay, well, um, I think in the next episode, yeah, we're going to go talk with Graham, and then we're going to continue on our way to Fallbrook. Thank you guys so much for watching the Johnny Guitar channel, and we will see you next time we play The Outer Worlds.